Welcome to the Empire by this Rampant, and welcome back to my Principality of Kiev campaign for the 1100 AD mod for Rome 2, where we're going to continue left off from last time, where after a far too long of a journey, we have been able to make our way over here, and we have been able to conquer the Kipchak region. Uh, now we're just waiting to see if the Volga Bulgars are going to uh, attack me, or if they're going to slowly die and just starve themselves to death, as at the moment they're just kind of staying around here. But basically what we'll be doing is I will soon be trying to have it so that we'll be taking my king uh, back towards uh, my mainlands. We'll bring them all the way back down this way. I want to bring them back over. And I think we're going to start trying to push on into Poland now. Um, seeing as how I know we need to make our way over there for our victory conditions. We need to have it so that... Okay, we still need to control uh, Cherson. Uh, we basically just need to ally with you guys to do that. Um, and then we need to control Thuringia and Greater Poland. And then we just need to maintain some more units. So basically... We're getting way close to uh, finishing this campaign off way closer than I thought we were. Um, but what I want to do, I need to remember if I think you're defensive allies with me. Um, I wonder if I can get that boosted up to. Yeah, I am. Can I get that boosted to military allies? Because then I can. I, I want to be able to talk, see through your land. No, it's la. Do no I have military more. access? Let me try and see if I can get that. Because if I can, I'd actually want to kind of go through your lands to get to them specifically. Uh, moderate. No. Okay. Not going to let me accept that. Alrighty, I was hoping you guys might. Do I have anybody else I want to trade with right now? No, nobody else. The person I could trade with with is Poland. And uh, Poland does not like me at the moment. Uh, honestly, I'm surprised they haven't declared war on me just yet. Although I could see them doing so soon. Oh, give me a second. Give me a second, guys. Like, literally, if you keep offering me that, I am going to accept it. It's just right now, I need my armies to be closer. So, once I'm closer to my mainlands again, Rome, I will gladly accept that, gladly fight those guys. Because, honestly, it might be better to hit them first, as opposed to going after um, Poland. Because Poland isn't at war with me yet. Does look like my allies actually have been weakening those forces a little bit for me. Um, local bands, I'm going to say refuse. I don't really need them. Uh, Hidden Agent has been exposed. That's okay, I guess. He's over there just chilling, stealing. Um, back over here now. So I do feel like I need to get into position. Because like you guys are making your way over towards me. You are slowly losing people every turn. Uh, let's get you back into the city. It's going to piss it off and make it so we have a rebellion this turn. But that's okay. I've got you guys there, and then I've got my king here still. Just waiting until we can leave this area, or at least have it so I don't have a high risk of rebellions. Then I can start moving you down south. Because I know I don't need to expand over this way. I don't need to make my way over to this city. I can ignore that for the most part, because Saxon's a pretty good defense, honestly. We've got a pretty good garrison here, and as long... I haven't even upgraded this yet. This hasn't even been upgraded. And once I upgrade this, I will have an even better garrison. Because I'm probably going to be wanting to get rid of this at some point. Um, that only helps with... Ah, it does reduce banditry, though. Honestly, that's actually not bad that it reduces banditry. Although banditry is still pretty high around here. Let's see. Faction destroyed. Doesn't matter. I was hoping it was going to save the other forces. Oh, no. Vulgar Bulgars are now dead. So they've been destroyed. Perfect. Uh, again, we're about to have a rebellion. We just had it right here. Uh, moon loyalty. Nice. I'm glad that they like that. Okay, so let's then have it so that what we'll do is let's get rid of this rebellion right here. I can actually get to you this turn. And then ideally, as long as I'm just not against... Don't... I swear to God, I just don't get my place shit killed. I think it should be okay. Almost lost you. Almost lost my king, too. God damn it. Uh, this is why I don't trust the auto-resolve. Okay, but now... Oh, my king could be wounded. Um... It's a minus nine right now. I think it's primarily because of you are sitting in the city at the moment. So get out of it for now. It's minus one. I think you're okay. I think we're okay to leave. Also, the winter has a negative, uh, was it minus four? Yeah, I think we can start heading out with my king. So let's bring you back here. Hopefully you are able to replenish a little bit there. Yeah, you can. Okay, good. Because <laughs> I don't want my king to be wounded. So let's start now the montage of running all the way back. Now, I do need to make sure that, like, the, basically while we're wandering, the only things I really want to do is actually focus on my political side of things right now, because I know I need to do some stuff there. Um, like, right around here, I actually want to try and make sure we educate my son. Want to make sure that he's sent off to be educated, and hopefully by the time I get back, he'll actually be fully educated, because it's taking me so fucking long to get back. Ah, the first eventful thing in our little uh, montage back home. We now have more Nomad Raiders in Kiev. Of course we do. Of course we do. Obviously, it's what I'm still making my way back over. If anything at all, I think mo both of these cities will be fine. I know my king is almost back. He's almost back into my own territory. Uh, and I know once we get here, I actually need to start replacing you guys. I now am able to get you guys, the armored uh, Russian archers. 
So I will want to try and grab you units when I can. So basically next turn, probably disband some of you guys, start recruiting some of them, and just keep going and get a couple of them each turn as you make your way over here to try and deal with the nomads. Because slowly but surely we are getting our max army that I want around here. Uh, Saxon's doing okay, uh, public order wise. I think it's the agent actions is what's mainly doing it in for you guys. Events, cultural differences, taxes, and then instability. Instability is minus nine right now, but he's got you guys. And uh, both these actually have some pretty decent garrisons. Honestly, I should probably have you buy the other city. Because if there's going to be a rebellion that can't hold, it'll actually be the other settlement and not this one. Although I should make sure, uh, before I forget, I will want to try and make sure at least, because I know Ki uh, Kiev will be fine. Kiev will be fine if it's stacked. Just in case, let's get uh, another force around Oleshi. So let's at least try and see... Um, got another landowner's party over here. We can grab you, and I can grab some mercenaries around this area. Because we can grab... Uh, I would like to have some spearmen, if anything, honestly. But these guys are always really cheap, so I can grab a couple of you. And maybe just that? Just so we at least have something. Oh, actually, let me do this. Make sure you're in the city when I do this, because I can move you into it. There you go. So you're at least in it immediately. Because this would be the only area I'd expect them to maybe attack, and I might not have enough to push on into or help with. Um... Actually, the mercenary axes are pretty cheap. Honestly, yeah. Let's grab some of those. So, grab those guys. Have them temporarily for right now, just in case. Because my king is still so far away that if they push in and I don't defend that, oh, they're going to easily take that city and then they'll start running around rampant. Yep, yeah, and here they are. God damn it. Okay. Uh, I wish my allies were in range, but they aren't. So we've got a little bit more now here. I wish I had some spearmen, but we do not. They have just a bunch of cav as usual. Not a lot of good infantry. So if we can have it so that we break them on the walls, and then maybe I can take out the uh, Nomad Raider General before they uh, push on in. Oh, fuck. I thought we had walls. <laughs> nope. Oh, God. This is even worse. Fuck. Okay, well... I might still be able to do this. I'm glad I grabbed the mercenary, so we at least have something. Um, the horse archers... Th that means the melee cab is going to be rushing in immediately. I really wish we had some spearmen here. Fuck. Well, my first order of business is going to be reclaiming Oleshi once we get back over here. We'll see what we can do here. Hopefully we do some good damage to them, but we're probably going to lose this city temporarily um, until my king gets back, which he's like five or six fucking turns out. Oh god, that's painful to say. So, let's see. None of you guys have any sort of formation attack. Awesome. So let's see you guys go sit up there. We've got like some good... Um, like They're probably going to focus primarily over here. That's my expectation. So let's make you guys one group. You guys are going to be one group, and then I'll have it so these guys are another. Ideally, they just don't make their way over here. Um, hopefully, they just don't make their way over on the right side. And then I can just have my cavalry maybe... Like, we can maybe kill the captain. I might be able to do something here. But let's have it so, like, uh, three of you guys here. And then, like, three of you guys here. Kind of get ready to unload into them. Yeah, kind of like that. And then my cavalry, all of you guys grouped up. We'll try and be up to the side a little bit. Because their general's a horse archer. So he'll probably gotta have it so he'll kind of sit back and do nothing. And then I can try and focus him down with my cavalry. And then ideally, that will break them. That's my hope. Well, let's listen to the speech before we get started for today. Praise be to the gods of war. They see us now in our defense of this place and these walls. Take up your weapons and defend your people here. Do not falter. Do not leave your post. Alrighty, I'm glad. That's a good. That's not a bad speech. I appreciate it because that's definitely what we need to do right now. Um, habits. Oh fuck, they are gonna bring their forces over here. Okay, so what I might need to do then? Captain's right there. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. By your command. You guys are just sitting there. They are gonna make their way over here. Okay, so that means for you guys, I actually do want you to kind of focus your attention over here. Turn around. As the captain is over this way. We need to have it so that you guys try and run it in here. And have these two are... They, they're not going to commit. They're not going to commit to a fight with us just immediately. Okay, so let's just run on into them. And have it so we'll have two focused on each one. We're going to want to try and focus on their captain if possible. If you guys aren't going to commit to a fight, let's just go around and try and go hit their captain. So my archer's here. Also, everybody better have guard mode on. I don't want you chasing anybody. You guys here. 
Unload on who you can. Get what damage you can on the melee cap. You guys keep going around here to try and get to the captain. Because see these axemen. Losing decisively. I don't like to see that. One of you is not firing. Uh, I don't know why you're not firing, but can you just stick shoot in there, my dude? Like, that's an area I need you to try and focus on. Let's cap her breaking. There we go. Okay, focus on... Uh, you guys don't want to guard. I don't want you to actually chase things. Yeah, focus these horse archers. Get in melee with them. There you go. Because if we can kill you, then we'll focus our attention on clearing this area first. And then we can turn our attention over here, where at the moment, uh, you guys are unloading on them. My mercenaries. You're holding well. Hey, you guys are holding them at bay right now. I got you guys to soften them up, and then the elite mercenary axes in the back there. But yeah, you guys keep trying to focus on to the horse archers so they don't do too much damage. I uh, hope we don't do just too much. General is down to 30 guys, so he's almost dead already. Okay, enemy general has now ran, so I've been able to break him. He didn't fully die, but he has shattered. Oh, there he goes. He's now properly dead. Okay, so now let's have my cab help finish off the rest of this cab over here. Then, what I want to do is have you guys start making your way up around this way. Because I want to have it so that what we're going to do is we're going to try and surround them. I'm bring you guys here. I'll bring my cab over here as soon as I'm done finishing off of these guys. So yeah, go right there. Finish off those light cab units. Make sure they're shattered. Uh, these three archers now. I can have you guys adjust. Kind of turn around. Focus on the men that are fighting around here. Um, you guys are still trying to focus primarily onto the horse archers, so they're taking some good damage right now. Alrighty guys, you're almost in position, right about there. I just want to make sure that none of these fuckers get away. I don't want to have to fight this again, so Cav, you start charging in from the left side. My axemen are coming in from the back side, and they're already not feeling that great, so ideally they should all just give up here, um, in a bit here from me fighting them. Because now that they're fully surrounded, uh, some of my guys are wavering, but that sh I sh they should break before I do, honestly. Like, Cav, keep charging in here. Most of them are in the red there. There we go. That's everybody. Now, ideally, I would have been able to continue running them down, but no. Technically, some of these guys will survive, which bugs me, so they get to have it so 500 and get to live. Which, I disagree. I would have made sure every single one of them died, damn it. But at least we have been able to hold. So we were able to repel them now. Uh, this probably means there's going to be more going to hit Hellage. Fuck. Uh, I at least do have um, another army over there um, in Cluj. Uh, uh, yeah, um, they're chilling over there right now. So ideally, they can maybe kind of turn around if I really need them to. To try and help out defend uh, Helic. Uh, again, I don't remember which, which way it's supposed to be pronounced. But they can try and make their way over there to help out. These Nomad Raiders have been at least defeated. Not bad. Good amount of money, too, from them as well. Let's see. Did they fully die? They were destroyed. Perfect. Uh, Boris, you got to level up. Good job. Good job. Uh, I don't really want to keep you here because you are of the landowner party and I don't want them to get uppity. So, uh, you... Yeah, we'll focus on maybe Zeal first. Um... Yeah, get, get some more zeal. Kind of get you to even out a little bit more right there. Okay. Um, oh, Shower Khan can also upgrade. So let's grow that, grow that. And then I need to make sure we grab... Um, yeah, we need to grab this so we can get the Bardic Circle. So we need to try and grab that right now. I also need to get more food, though, too. Oh, that's actually why. I forgot. Uh, you got a rank up during that montage. And I forgot to have you re-steal because you now get six per turn. Um, so do that. Then we need to have it so back over here. I'll have you guys, yeah, get the commons first. Get the commons first. We'll get the Baric Circle stuff. Then, because I know right now, corruption is actually pretty damn high. Yeah, 12% corruption. That is pretty high right now for all my territories. Also, I don't want to forget that at this point in time now, it's just painful because you guys have a lot of experience. And I'm now about to get rid of these archers because I have better archers. So we will disband them. It hurts. It hurts a lot. But... We will now be able to get even better ones, because these guys' baseline are better than them. So start trying to grab as many of them as you possibly can. I actually get quite a few of you guys in one turn, so we can grab all that, because we were also down my Spearman. So start trying to grab more of these guys, and then next turn I'll kind of keep recruiting more of them as we're making our way forward. Almost, guys. Almost. Just give me a little bit more time, and I'm going to start accepting these. Because, like, I know I want to go to war with them, but, like, my king is not in position. 
My armies aren't ready. Um, I just need a couple more turns, and then I will gladly accept those offers to join wars, because I need all the money I can get. I know right now my economy is doing better. Um, Air Raiders, we don't care about that. And then I now have more of these guys, more of the Russian archers. And at least we have the guy that does make it so we can just re, uh, we just train them over time slowly, which is nice. Also, I do think I might get rid of the mercenary axes. Yeah, I think I might replace you with the Russian long axes. Stat-wise... Your health is a lot higher, that's the main difference. But your morale is way lower on the mercenary axes, though, that's the issue. Weapon attack is about the same, but we can probably have it so... Let's keep moving up a little Get bit more. Have it so we get rid of you. Because you're a tiny bit more expensive. Just a little bit. I know if I had access to the next uh, rank of guys, I'd probably grab them now. But that will be our final army there. Got three swordsmen, uh, plenty of spearmen. A nice balanced army. It's far different than what we did last time. Um, we still need to also then have it so that you just keep getting the lore master's hot upgrade. And that was just the commons, which we then just upgraded there. I think all this stuff over here... Yeah, this we could upgrade, but I'm going to actually hold off on that. It only gives a better garrison, which at the moment we don't really necessarily need. Um, and this stuff is still slowly being built up. This area, like once the public order is doing better, like right now, instability is the main issue. Yeah, minus seven. That's the main reason why it's pissed off right now. Because culture-wise, it is going up. And now that we have the building as well, it's 1.2% per turn, which is pretty good. I love those guys just trying to wound my priest. He just said, sucker punch this gut with a stick. Fuck you guys. <laughs> love that. All of you guys were able to repel them there. Because I still need that mandarin to keep trying to uh, pull them away. Um, let's see. I do want to try and see. Let's see. Faction destroyed. I see pagan raiders. That's the one that we don't care about. We only care about nomad raiders. Um, that's all the recruitment there for my guys. Also, because right now I know I'm finishing this research. Which, once that's done, I'm going to start trying to have it so for you guys to get the next level... That would allow me to get the um, Russian Mace Warriors. Noble Archers would be really nice. Um, that's just tech. Don't need any resources yet. I would need resources for you. And I think it's... Is it the same tech for both? Because improved chain mail is what we need for this rank up. Um, this building here. We also... We need a Warrior um, Autocracy. So where are those? So the Warrior Autocracy one is right here. This would take 22 turns, 35 turns total, to finish this one off. Um, the other one was Improved Chainmail, which right now would actually only take 22 turns to do. So I think once we're done with um, this research, we can at least grab the Improved Chainmail one. So that'll let me get the Improved Meeting Ground, so I can get up to this. This will allow me to get up to here. I think this one also requires... This requires infantry drills to get to the fourth rank of that one. Would allow me... Okay, so I'll be able to max out my archers way faster than anything else. The tech also for infantry drills, that one is specifically... I, th I know I saw that one. Um, that one was... Infantry drills here. Okay, so we need to literally get this stuff, then this, which would take another 29 turns. <laughs> oh, it's painful. Alrighty, some more Pagan Raiders have been destroyed. I always love seeing that. Uh, there's the attrition from the winter. I did get rid of Boris there because he didn't need to be around anymore. Arab Raiders don't matter to us. Also, I do now see you guys are kind of making your way up to us. I wonder if you'll give me a piece. I don't think you guys will, but we'll start making our way back here now because I know the area is happy enough that it should stop having rebellions. Um, I need you to keep getting better fields around there. And I do want to try and see if they'll give me peace, but I don't think they will right now at least. Because we can try and offer it. God's Peace treaty, low. Uh, I can technically try and offer. Uh, join war again, so I can offer. So I can offer to declare war against... Uh, is there anybody that I actually don't give a shit about? I think, like, you maybe. I don't know who the fuck this is. <laughs> I literally don't see them on the map. I don't know who this person is. I don't think there'd be any ramifications from me doing this. I hope. Uh, still low. So, they're not going to accept that offer right now. So, we'll just have to bring an army over. I've got a good garrison already. Like, I've got a full stack of 20. Uh, with you on top of that, with these additional spearmen, you'll be able to very easily hold that. Holy this fuck! Year. Yep, okay, that's why I accept it. <laughs> you offered me the 35k for that war. I will gladly accept it there. My king is already almost here, too. So, I think that works out wonderfully. So, let's now start pushing on into Bohemia. <laughs> Uh, because my king's army is ready. It's now making its way back over. Um, Bohemia technically is in a little bit of an awkward spot for me to push into right now. 
um, simply because Poland is actually the one that borders me right now. I'll have to check and see if my allies, um, if they have, if I have military access with them. If they do, then I can walk through their lands to go hit Bohemia. You can try and do that. Doesn't look like you guys are advancing on us right now, which is good. Um, I was trying to grab another archer. More, no, oh my fuck, no! Not fucking up here! Ah, like seriously, it takes so long to move in this specific fucking area. <sighs> okay, well, you're not fucking moving, but I don't want to move out of the way. Uh, let's just grab another army here then. Let's grab another force. Um, both landowners parties. Let's grab Boris again. Grab you, reinstate your legacy. Heroes, I guess. Yeah, reinstate you back up here, my man. I'm gonna put you in here, and I'll try and do the same thing. Get some mercenaries. I think this one had walls? I can't remember if this one had walls. Um, but I can at least grab... Uh, I can grab you. I, I just got a huge surplus of money, too. So let's just grab... Well, maybe not you guys. Well, who's cheaper? <laughs> you guys are way better. Uh, I'll just grab these person. basic mercenary horse archers. So grab all of them. Obviously, you guys will try and watch over this area for us. I can try and recruit a unit of archers. I only have one. Oh, I have two recruit slots now. Um, let's try and yeah, do try and get some more of those. I might want some more infantry. Oh, those are spearmen. These are auxiliary nomadic spearmen. <laughs> Their morale is so bad, though. I can actually get them three. So let's try two of those guys and one archer. I don't know if this is going to go through, but we'll try it. Because I know right now I don't like that there's nomad, ar uh, nomad armies up here, too. I just don't know why. It's just this area in, uh, in particular. Really fucking slow to walk through areas. But you're good there, at least. I think that should be enough. My king, then. Um, let's see. So, Bohemia right now. Uh, they're way the fuck back there. I'm going deep. I'm going deep undercover with this. I only th I think they only have the one city. I don't think they have anything else. Uh, that's uh, Pisa. Fuck yeah, I think that is it. So then uh, I want to... Oh shit, I'm going to have to like literally just walk through Poland's lands. Or maybe we just have it so we make our way over here and we just start the war with Poland specifically. Um, because at least Bohemia, I think they only have that one city. Ooh, you guys are offering me military access. I do have to pay you for it. But... That will be really nice. That would allow me to possibly start getting ready to almost, Excellent. like, flank around and go through their lands to try and hit them. Because I know right now... I don't want to tell you that. Join that, but I have to. Um, oh, good. They're pulling back. Because um, I know I'm going to have to go to war with Poland right now. But Luge, at least, has a really good garrison. You guys are going to push on in. Yep, you are. Okay, so I'm not going to get that recruitment. This is, these, these are only horse archers. There's, there's only horse archers. That's it. If I have walls, which I think I do, um, you guys can't really push in here. Did I have walls in the city or not? Because when I remember, yeah, this does have walls. So, like, you have to burn down the gates. That's the only way in. I don't have any spearmen, sadly. But I have a decent amount of archers. I have some cavalry myself. I'll probably actually take the melee cav. Send you guys out and about and have it so that you guys will get ready to surround them as soon as they start pushing in. Because they have literally no infantry, so they have to burn down the gates. Where are they focusing their attention? So they're focusing their attention right here on the area with a lot of wide open space. I like that. So we can have it so that my archers here. Honestly, just get you guys to line up here so we can unload on them immediately. Um, I actually want my skirmishers in the middle there. Because you guys have a shorter range, and I know they have to make their way through here. You guys get up on the walls. Eh, kind of like so. Yeah, like so. Right there. You guys will then be your own group. Then it's just going to be all of my infantry. You guys need to... Oh, I don't want the cap there. You guys actually need to have it so that what you'll do is I'll move you guys out. And we're going to have it so you guys will group up. I'll have you guys kind of nearby over here. Get ready to kind of run on out and surround them as soon as they break down the gates and start trying to push on in. Horse archers, I'll probably have you guys kind of stand out here too to just provide uh, firing support into the enemy army. But let's start the battle and then listen to the speech and see how we do. Because I think we have a decent chance here. My father taught me that when a foe attacks, it is often weaker than those who defend. But only if 
The defense is well prepared. So what kind of make ready. We do not have much time, for they are coming. If we had some more spears, I would be a bit more confident in what's going on for this fight. But I've at least got a little bit more. Like I've got some skirmishers. These guys will kind of rush on in. They'll try and break down the gates. And uh, what we're gonna do here is make sure you kind of blob on up in the gate if you can. I'm just gonna walk on in there, man. And then I'll have you guys kind of move here a little bit more. And then my guys just need to try and whittle them down. Like you're doing some good damage right here. These poor bastards are the brave souls that have to make their way forward to try and uh, get the gates down. Because they have no other way inside. At least this nomad army is literally just all cavalry. So there's at least two units right there already dead. Uh, that one's already also almost dead too. Yeah, now we're doing some good damage with my archers. I also do love how, because it's raining, they have barely done any damage to the gates. It's taken 21% damage. Hasn't even started on fire just yet. And I've almost taken out their entire army at this point. Like, straight up, they don't have much left here. Some of my archers, like you, you're actually taking some good damage from the enemy army. Um, but there's a lot of corpses right here. And then one there was one. So now it's just the uh, general now at this point. So I brought my cav in around to hit him. And this should be the end of the, the forces. Come on, dead. right there. That should do it. Attack. Okay. So we were able to hold. I do love that. I'm probably going to keep using Boris as, like, my, hey, spawn a random army and deal with the nomads kind of force. So I'll keep just spawning him occasionally, have him grab mercenaries. Because um, I remember, I think our mercenary pool replenishes faster because we're the Russian, one of the Russian factions. Um, I believe. Um, so what we'll try and do is keep just rinse and repeating with that idea. Because it does work well. We just need, like, one army. Because they are pretty consistent about attacking immediately. They don't really beat around the bush that if a nomad army spawns, they're going to pick a city, and they're going to attack it immediately. They're not going to waste time. Because they just really want that money. But uh, at least these guys are now dead. Hopefully, up here, they continue only spamming just horse archers. That means, defensively, it's amazing. Offensively, if I ever have to fight that thing, I don't want to. I never want to. Um, I, I get really good results when I say refuse. So, they're now dead up there. Good. There's some banditry unrest around here. Not the best. Still trying to wait until you guys grow to try and get some more stuff that reduces banditry. Uh, going back over here. Uh, you don't need to recruit that stuff. So, I would actually just have it so you can just be disbanded. Because this area here, it's still slightly going up. Yeah, I can just disband you. Send you back to the front. Or send you back. Um, uh, gained immoral. God damn it, dude. Well, well, at least you make us more money. That's great. That's at least something. Uh, let's see. Can I upgrade this yet in a timely manner? Not yet. It's getting there. It's slowly getting there. If I just wait a little bit longer, you guys will be good. Um, then we just finish that Bard's Grove over here. Good. I like to see that. King, you're still a couple turns out uh, from being able to get over here. If I get an offer to attack Poland by the time I get over here as well, I'll probably... God damn, one dudes. Probably will try and take it. Because otherwise, I know, like, if I can get some, like, I could just walk around and try and go all the way. I could just sneak all the way to Praha. I could do that. It's I kind of tempted to. But that also might get my king killed. Uh, I do also want to check and see. So, politics right now, it's not doing the best. I'm going to try and see. You can't be ranked up right now. Let's see, can I upgrade, rank up the other guy? No, he can't be ranked up either. Okay, then we'll want to have it so that we'll just secure their loyalty. Because the loyalty is not doing the best right now. Let's see. So, difficulty level, hates barbarians, and southerners. So, that's negative 27 from that. So, honestly, our imperial level actually helps. With that. So, that's not bad. It kind of still slowly goes down, but it's kind of stable. And we're now at the point that we kind of want to stay at. We want, we don't want them to get any more um, political influence than right here. This is where I want to stop, though, if possible. Okay, so you're back. In, okay, so you're back home. Um... Missing taxes in Southern Rus. I really, I do hate that there's not a lot of buildings, because I was actually trying to check this. Uh, there's not a lot of buildings that reduce banditry for this faction. Um, there's literally none, because I, I decided over here in Cluj, because you guys have a decent amount of uh, banditry as well over here, that I decided to just build another one of the monasteries. Um, I already have one right here. I already have two of them right here. But like, yeah, just get another one, get the one that gets me more food, because, like, honestly... There's nothing else that, like, th uh, this building right over here is the only other one that I could find that really reduces it. This doesn't do anything. Uh, there's not a lot of other things in that line that do it either. 
Nope, that increases ban entry. Doesn't do anything for ban entry. This one increases ban entry. This one also increases ban entry. Just literally every single one of them increases ban entry. And I know, like I said, go on this one because hey, I need a lot of food right now too. Okay, we've now finished the teaching moral ones now too. Um, air braiders we don't care about. So that means, so that, what did that research exactly do again? I just want to remind myself because I'm making a lot more money now. So that gave us, so increased culture from all regions, reduce banditry across uh, everything, reduce corruption, and give a lot more cultural conversion. That is nice. Um, I almost want to maybe finish this off. We'll hold off on that for now. I think for right now, I do want to have it. So we're going to start going over and grabbing improved chainmail because that'll have it so... That'll take us 20, uh, 21 turns now with the improved tree, uh, research rate a little bit. Um, and that'll give us gives us some better uh, stable stuff there, reduce upkeep. And then here, it'll also reduce upkeep again. And then gives us access to upgraded towns and the Proving Grounds, which I really do want to get. Uh, they're about to attack me here, possibly. So let's have it so that make sure that you are now in the city now. Um, and let me try and get you another one of the archers. So I'm trying to make sure... I'm just going to get one more. I don't want too many. One more archer over there. And then going back over here now. I just want to keep spamming these, all these. Like, I can get... I, I have enough food, I'd say, for right now. Because it gives me uh, it gives me more culture and then reduces corruption even more further. More research rate. Because every single one of you, if you guys have this available, build it. Because that is a huge benefit to me to have that build right now. So we can get, uh, what, like, what, four of those? We can get one here, one here, one here. Yeah, four. We can get four of those upgrades. Four of those upgrades, it'll take a little bit longer, but that's okay. Four of those upgrades there, you are getting better. Yeah, I think we'll hold off a little bit longer, then I'll be able to properly get that built up there. Should be safe over in the east. Uh, my king now is now in this area once again. Uh, make sure for sure, also, grab all these armor, weapon armor upgrades. Uh, I really want to make sure, because I think this is actually... Yeah, I need to improve chain mail to get these upgrades, because I want to start improving armor even more. But for right now, at least, I'll have you go to the border... And if I'm given the opportunity to declare war onto uh, Poland, I will push into them. Otherwise, <laughs> I am technically at war with you guys. Should I just push into Italy for whatever fucking reason? Like, I could. Uh, I will have to double check if I have uh, military access with Bulgaria. Bulgaria right now, I think I do have. Sit, friends. Yes. I do have military talk. access with you guys. Uh, do I have military access with you guys? I do Good not have military access friend. with you, but I do with Bulgaria. Can I get it with you guys right now, maybe? Let me see, because if I go here, uh, military talk. access, and moderate. No, I did, I did pay them for it. Alrighty, there it is, because I was wondering. I was deciding to start making my way over, because why not actually just hit Pisana. You guys are now offering me 16k to join in against the war about against Poland. I will gladly do so. So we'll now turn around from uh, possibly just randomly going to Italy for no apparent reason. Uh, we'll now turn around and start making our way over to start trying to hit Poland. As uh, they are one of the factions that we need to deal with uh, to get to my victory conditions. Now I need to have it so that we'll turn around. Let's see, you've been exposed. More pagan raiders, that's okay. Army discovered. That's just you guys over there. That should be fine. As long as I've got this army around here, you guys should be safe around here. I know this area here... I don't think this is going to get any lower right now, so I'm going to start building that now. Especially because I need to make sure this area doesn't fall. And as long as you've got a good garrison here with this guy, you should be able to hold this area. So, my king at least now. He almost got to the edge of uh, the region of Pex. Um, let's just start trying to make our way up around this way. Um, there's a bridge right here. I know they have a multi multiple armies around here right now. Let's have you kind of... Multiple. Yes, multiple right there. So I see... You, they've got a good army. I hate that also if I get anywhere near this bridge, that's probably going to lure them out. This would not be the bad, uh, worst idea now to try and have it so... Maybe not with you guys. Maybe do a small army. That I have go walk through your lands to try and hit Krakow. Because honestly, it might not be the best for me to try and hit uh, Estragom right there. Because that's a lot of dudes. Well, let's see. I'm going to try and make my way up here. I'm going to see if they start doing anything now that I am at war with them. They might become aggressive now and make their way towards me. If they are, then we can kind of repel them, push on in after we've dealt a decent amount of damage. Otherwise, Kluge's got a good garrison. You guys actually have this at rank 2. And this guy is here as well. I can also now get to the auxiliary archers, which are pretty damn good, actually. So I'm going to try and have at least two auxiliary archers in this army here. 
Um, and if I need to, I can have you just walk around, and it will take longer, but we can have another montage, and we'll go for Krakow instead, because I think that's their northernmost city. Yeah, it looks like that is their northernmost city at the moment. The agents have been exposed again, that's fine. Um, I just need to have you then. So right now, they're just chilling there. I'm gonna have it so you can't do... Well, yeah, it's because you're, uh, currently known about. I want you to watch over this area. Kind of like over here again. I can I can now have you try and steal food from them. Agent exposed. It's Leopold. Uh, that's an enemy agent there, actually. Quartermaster support. Yep, got those guys right there. You guys are now an encouraged populace over here. I love it. So you guys are doing really well for yourselves now. Um, and at the moment, they aren't moving. So I'll make my way up here. If they don't move these armies, let's see, because the, this one, they've got a lot of guys around here. I really don't think I should advance into this area. Not with one army. Like, there is a bridge here. But that br Actually, I can't get close enough to the bridge. I would want to use that bridge battle, but I can't. So I will start a little montage. I'm going to walk up around this way. I'm going to walk up around towards Krakow. Um, also, is my son back yet? He's currently 14. He's got to be getting close. Um, you're... You're doing okay. I'm going to try and see if I can uh, promote you again. I cannot. I can promote this guy. So let's try and promote you. So that we can try and have you maybe get a little bit more uh, loyalty for your public uh, for your party, because that should now help it out. Actually, actually have it be going up. So yeah, promoted characters are now plus six there. My son is fourteen, so he's got to be coming of age soon. I'll be having it so that as soon as he is of age, I will be giving him an army. I'm going to be giving him a small army that will kind of follow his father around, uh, because eventually he is going to have to take over command of this force. Okay, Poland is going to advance onto us. So, this army here, literally one cap unit. This army right here, literally one cap unit. Also quite a few mercenaries, a lot of militia. They've got some units that are pretty decent. See, the auxiliaries will have pretty bad morale. Some of these guys are damaged, and let's see, they've got, um... effects they have on themselves. They're not doing the best. They're not the happiest right now. Punishment, movement range, 5% morale. They are they are on the offensive, so they are going to have less morale. Um, let's do this, though. I've got a well-stocked army that has been waiting to get back into the fight. And now we have even better archers than we used to. So now we should be able to do quite a bit of good amount of damage around here, I hope. Uh, Terrain-wise, ideally, we'll, um, let's see. Because I'm hoping, okay, they walk uh, at us one at a time. Especially because I've got my cab units are starting to get some really good experience right there. Uh, this should be sl this should be a slaughter, honestly. Because right now... I do have deployables. Let's see. It's raining. Um, it's pretty flat, honestly. It doesn't really matter where we go. Um, enemy reinforcements should be just behind them. So we'll just go way back here. So let's have you guys in the center. Right so you guys in the center. They have, like, no cav. So my spearmen don't really have to do a whole lot. But you guys kind of like right there and right there. And then let's make sure then we'll grab all my archers. Well, I'm going to make sure I showcase what you guys look like. Because this is the first time, first battle we've had with these archers. Um, the long axes will be in the back. And then I'll have my general and my cavalry in the back here as well. And also, they might be morons. And they might straight up get their cav killed by just walking straight on into the stakes. So let's put that way up there see if they'll do that i am hoping they do uh then i'll have all my infantry group up archers group up we actually have you guys in your own little group outside of everybody else um but let's start the battle and then i will listen to your speech and hopefully they do walk on me just one army at a time we defend today when your brother enemy reinforcements approaching make sure you your efforts and fight for both of you Listen for my commands and obey them. Hold this ground. Yeah, because as long as one man takes out two every time, we will win this because we are at number two to one. But it does seem like at the moment, are they going to advance on us on their own? It kind of looks like they are. Yes, they are. Okay. So with them advancing with this one army first and foremost, I will be able to focus this one down. I also forgot to make sure I look at these guys. Or waiting for them to come on over anyways. So these are the armored uh, Russian archers. Not bad. Not bad. Nice little improvement. Uh, do you guys have more range on these ones than last time? Accuracy range is 160. I think it was 145 last time. Uh, I know your base morale is higher. 
Accuracy is about the same. Shots per minute, six. Munition. I think they have about the same amount of ammunition. I think the accuracy might be a little bit higher, technically. But if anything at all, you guys are at least more defensive than the last ones. So you are a, l a slight improvement over the archers we've been using for the past while. The one question is... At the moment, the cavalry is walking to straight forward. Are you gonna hit the stakes? Yep! Oh, oh, oh! You stopped. Igor stopped. He stopped just before the stakes. Did he finally learn? He might have. Okay, Cap, let's get you guys to kind of run over to the side a little bit more. Infantry is making their way on in. Everybody needs to have uh, guard mode on here. And then uh, I need to have it so you guys are going to try and focus on their skirmishers first and foremost. Ignore the infantry. They're not that big of an issue. Although you did some good damage to them. Wait, no, Cap, let's get you guys to run on in here. Just run on up. Let's actually have this kind of So you on the right side, you can hit them. All of you just kind of keep going past right there, and they did walk in through some of the stakes. They still did that. Okay. So you guys rush in there, there. You guys rush on in here. General's making their ways forward. Okay, those archers are pretty much dead. You guys can then pick your own targets. Start trying to surround these guys. They've got there. I will have to make sure we focus on the Polish knights. So start trying to engage them. I'm going to have you try and inspire my one dude that is actively engaged with that cav. Because I know they are going to be a bit of an issue. Cavalry. Uh, archers are now dead. Oh, he's already dead. Nice. Gotta love that. Okay, you. Keep focusing on archers. Yeah, he's running. Let's have you guys just in general focus on archers. You keep focusing on these guys. Keep focusing on them. Ignore the spearmen. Don't care about them. Just start trying to rush on in and deal with these archers militia units. And then I'll have it so you guys can then rush on in and break these uh, guys right here on this line. Almost all their archers are dead at this point. Alrighty. The archers are dead. So let's get the charge in here. You guys are just about to break anyways. So we can have you guys kind of finish them off. I think they have like one more archer now at this point. Yeah, one archer. Oh, two. Sorry. Two archers. One unit of infantry that's right here, and then the rest of the um, reinforcing army. So there goes all of those guys. Oh, there's actually some more over here still. Just kind of pull off to the side. Archers, you can unload it to those Slavic spearmen. We'll have it so we can finish off this one spearman. Archers can be left to him. This guy will break it with this charge. Don't even need to worry about actually forming it up properly. Yeah, there you go. You guys are broken now. Gets pulled back to the here. Now it's just that one archer, which you guys do have range. Let's have like you three. Try and focus on that archer right there. Yeah, you guys seem to do a lot more damage than my last archers that I had. Like, how many kills do you guys have so far? At least 50 for every one of you. And this is without any upgrades to your uh, veterancy. Let's have my calves start trying to charge on here. Because now, at this point, it's just infantry. So now we can just keep cycle charging into the enemy army here. Should keep breaking them. And honestly, this is, this is way better than I was expecting it to be. Because I was expecting this to be a little bit harsher, but because they have, like, no cavalry whatsoever, I can just dominate the open field right here. Damn it, I was trying to run more guys down. But no, there we go. I lost 142 guys to kill 2,000. Beautiful. Uh, they should still have, I believe... They might only have, an, uh, like, another full stack army and the garrison. That might be all they have. Although, they might have merged the... Because uh, they had three armies outside the city originally. They might have merged them together. And uh, turned them into two forces. They might have done that in advance on us. And that's what this was. I'm not sure. We'll have to wait until we get to our turn. And uh, see what's going on. Oh, I forgot to use the long axes. Oops. I need to remember to like actually take those guys around and have them start flanking. Because that's their whole job. But no. Good amount of damage on you guys. I took like no damage. And I'm also in my allies' lands. So, I can't see it over there. So, we will get some replenishment. So, that tiny little force is still there. I can lure them out with, of the, with the garrison. Because I can hit you. You might run, or you might not run. But if you do run, then this army is in range of the city. So, that might lure them out. I think we're going to take it this turn. We might be able to. It depends. It depends on if they run, run away or not. Because I think we can just take them all on. Oh, actually, it might be if we have enough movement. Um, that just finished up there with all those. Nice. How much is my research rate do I have now? So I've now got up to 165% here, and I've got 180% uh, here. So it's a little bit better. A little bit better. Uh, before, it was saying it would take um, 
Oh, way faster. Oh, yeah. Now it's 15 turns. Um, this was still 13, but it's a little bit faster, I think. Yeah, a little bit faster. Um, going back over here, so... Oh, they didn't get any replenishment. <laughs> I did. Oh, that's painful. Oh, that is painful. Let's see. If I make my way on up, are they going to run? They are going to run. Um, if I attack you, that lure out the city, you'll still be included. Like, they got their generals back because those guys died and they replaced them. The garrison for this army has no... They have some archer militia, not no cavalry whatsoever. So, yeah, just have you hit this guy. Hit him. You lure everybody out onto a fight. Ooh, this is about the same fight we basically just did. They have a little bit more than last time. This has no cavalry in this force, and these guys are really beat up. Also, um, I should be able to get in position and just kill the enemy reinforcements as they make their way on the map. Because of the positioning, the enemy reinforcements, because um, the garrison will be like back here, the other army should be like over here. So I'm going to get set up around there, and uh, we can try and see if we can kill off the reinforcements. I want to get rid of this fog. Come on, there we go, that's good. Because they're right there, that's that army. I'm going to try and be like, I think it might be like this road. So let's try and say, if you guys go over here. Let's adjust. I'm going to have to adjust you guys after this anyways. So just kind of go generically here. I could almost have my cav, like, pretty much probably take out this entire army, honestly. Do I want them to have them go kill the other army right now? I'm kind of tempted, honestly. Nah, we can wait until they walk onto us. Wait until they walk onto us. Group you guys up here. Start the battle. I'm going to sadly ignore my uh, king's speech. Because I feel like they've got to be around here. I feel like their reinforcements have got to be around there. Enemy reinforcements approaching. Oh, yeah, literally right there. Literally right there. So you guys go there. You guys go there. They're going to try and go for their allies, I think. Bam. Rush on into position. There, there. There, and there. Cavalry, I'm going to get you guys up here to kind of distract them a little bit. Infantry group up. You guys group up. Archers, and then everybody besides my cav have guard mode on there. Um, they're a little bit closer to me than I would have liked, but uh, it was a good guess. Let's have it so that we try and focus on the Noble Cav here. We'll also want to try and get rid of those guys. But it does look like they're trying to group up with their allies. So if they try and regroup with their allies, then they just ignore me. Um, I can freely charge you guys. So I can have it so, like, uh, you go there, you go there, you go there, you, go there, you try and hit those archers, and then my general also try and make your way over here and try and hit the archers. Because my infantry is getting in position. My archers will be able to unload onto them in a second here. Yeah, you guys try and just surround this guy if you can. Attack here. Fully surround him. Fully surround that general. My general will have you just go kill the basic archer that's right there. Uh, my archers are almost in position. I need to get you guys a little bit closer. You guys can't shoot them just yet, so kind of running up there a little bit. He's already dead. I love to see that. You guys, yeah, you're holding back. You were holding back. You're not advancing on me at all. Uh, this, <laughs> this is going to be a slaughter. Yeah, because you guys form up. Don't let them escape. You're broken there. My archer should unload on them any second now. So you guys should be unloading into them now. And then I can probably have it so, like, uh, you guys go a bit more over here. You guys a bit more over here. And then if I charge into you guys, they're probably going to just start breaking. Yeah, these mercenaries are not holding well. So, good charge right here. Good amount of damage on them. I'm going to have you charge them into there as well. Yeah, losing decisively against that cab charge. So you guys are good there. I can probably start actually having it so that uh, I'll start moving my men here. I need you guys to try and lock this group so I can just move you guys over this way. So go right there. Archers adjust. Also, my axemen. My cab can literally kill this entire army here. Alrighty. They're in range. Archers, start making sure you're focusing on their skirmishers first. Try and focus them down initially. And then I'll have it so that my calf, you're going to try and run around behind them. If I can, then I'll just try and focus on their skirmishers and their general with my cavalry. But initially, I need you, oh, you need to back. You're a little too close there, man. Pull back, guys. Because if you can't shoot the archers, that's okay. I'd rather just you guys focus on other units instead. Because I, I can have my calf very easily focus on their archers. So you guys kind of run around back here. Everybody else, keep holding. 
And then I need to make sure to remember to actually use my long axes. Let's get you guys to start trying to run around the sides and start trying to flank. Most of my swordsmen will hold. I need to have it with the cav. Try and get to about here. Then I can start charging into archers there. I can have one of you go for each. So I can have, like, you go right there. I can have it so that everybody else keeps trying to run around this way as well. Let's have uh, you go for this one. You go for this one. You go for this one. And you can go for these ones over here. Once the archers are dead, we can then start trying to just focus on hitting these guys and cycle charging their army. There. The enemy general is alive still. Try and see if you can focus him down with my archers. Try and do that. Long axes getting into position. Flank them. There you go, guys. This is what you're bred for. This is what you're made for. Start hacking into them. And you guys can just start doing some good damage there. These guys also start engaging them. Cavalry. Let's go. So all these archers haven't given up just yet. Okay, enemy general is dead, and now they are starting to run away. So let's have it so I want to try and see if I can get the to actually capture more of these guys. Who the fuck is wavering? Oh, some of my swordsmen. Some of my swordsmen took a little bit more damage than I'd like. Oh, that's painful. That's not what I wanted. Uh, I really need to upgrade those guys. Because my cav, the, the, this cav, really nice. They are holding really strongly. Um, I know the armored spears are not better than the basic spears, so like these four units are never leaving my army. Um, the long axes, I know there's a better variant, and I know we can get a better um, infantry variant that's a sword and board variant too. I still have a thousand guys in there. God damn. I just want to push on in and take the city. What I can, I'm probably going to do is, um, I think you'll be alive, but I think you're dead. So we'll probably have to have it so we replace you. Unless I got lucky and you actually survived. I'm hoping you did. Because, like, there was no damage on my cab whatsoever. You were the only one that took damage. Come on, man. Please tell me you survived. Nope, he didn't. Okay. So, for the most part, though, is that's the garrison. Both the other armies are fully dead. Garrison does not have much. I might be able to walk straight on it. I can lure them out again. <laughs> I can be a complete dick. Uh, I can just lure you guys out again. I might not have enough movement to take the city if I do that, though. I'm so tempted. Also, you're, you're going to be moving up. You're going to be moving up because I'll have it so you'll, like, give me some of these Russian swordsmen. But honestly, like, if I hit here... I bet I'm going to... Don't make me lose a spearman, I swear to God. I swear to God. I swear to God. They lived! Holy shit! Okay, okay. We cannot. Now the garrison should be practically nothing. Yeah, it's three dudes. Uh, I do enough movement to still. I, <laughs> Hi guys. Uh, just, I'm just rubbing it in at this point now. And they still didn't die. Okay. Get moving. And then can I hit the city? I can still hit the city. I can just capture it. Fuck yeah. I love it. Um, I can have more spies and dignitaries now. Nice. Okay, because I need more of them. Um, we are in the city. Hopefully, you guys won't die, but I still just need to like take the time to replace that one guy. I need to get rid of all this. Actually, let me first check one thing. <sighs> I can get the auxiliaries. Again, at least the auxiliary archers are not a bad unit. So this will probably try and convert to this. Those are not bad. Well, we should start it up from the beginning. So just demolish that stuff initially. This is something I have to demolish, and then this... Uh, takes 16 turns at this point in time. Just start it now. Because um, that's the only city I'm going to have in this region, so there's no, there's nothing else I will be doing there. But I think, actually, this will probably be a pretty good place to end for today. We, our war with Poland has started. Uh, do not like that I lost some of my infantry, but my cav has been really doing real, and I do like how well these archers have been doing right now, so... I'm going to be done for today. Hope you guys enjoyed this. If you guys did, let me know down in the comments down below. I love what you guys have to say about this campaign and the thoughts you have in general. This is Rampant. I'll see you guys next time.